you saw the picture, you know what that static means. It's time for more Let's Play Dragon Warrior. If you tuned in last time, we got a larger shield, went up two levels, and my cat pissed the bed. As for the cat, uh, don't worry about him. He's here with me now, so he can't cause problems. Unless I try to make a guitar video. Heaven help us all. Anyway, let's get started. I have a laundry bed. This is actually on the same day as the previous one, so I have the laundry in the room, and going already and everything's taken care of and you know things like that to me are not a major catastrophe they just piss me off because we have a cat who was apparently only half neutered and he causes all kinds of chaos and uh, terror wherever the hell he goes maybe this is the episode where I just talk about cats I don't know Let's go down the stairs. Yeah. Now you wonder why I don't make YouTube videos much anymore, especially of guitar stuff where I show my face. It's just freaking difficult now. Because, I mean, I'm not a single 20-something year old anymore living in a studio apartment making videos by himself anymore. I'm, you know, now a almost 40 year old man who's doing this for fun and yes it's in the washing machine yes I put everything in the washing machine already everything's washing yeah there's one for you yeah, let's call this series Rant and Game. I don't know. I hate modern washing machines with a passion just because of the basic fact. The one we have, it doesn't react the way I remember. See, I grew up with an old world with a whirlpool from like 1987. And that darn thing, you turned it on, it was like. And then started the uh, agitator cycle. And I would stop and I would go dump out the water and then go into spin cycle you could like open the lid while it was on the agitator cycle yeah. the skeletons an agitator cycle seems like the blizzard of snow in the background is getting a little more intense this go round. Finally we're getting some enemies that are gonna give me a challenge. We're almost up to the uh, half plate armor now. I mean, shoot. Ladies and gentlemen, my cat Ricky. Yeah, he just bounced off the guitar rack and did, like, a flip. Most people would see the chaotic crap that cat does. And they would be like, why don't you send him back to the freaking pound? They ne those people, they never grew up with cats. Let me tell you something. I grew up with a whole shit ton of cats when growing up. Oh yeah, you don't even know the horrors. This one breeds um, towels and, 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 and freaking uh, slippers. That's not new. I had, a, I had a cat named Nat that did that. Uh, now he's talking to me. Yeah, I'm 
sure every, everybody now is going to feel sorry for my household now. Great. The, the, this, uh, this complete dope's got a freaking wife. And she also has to deal with a chaotic male cat now. What now? <laughs> Welcome to this society. Alright, 800 again. So the further I go in this game, it just gets easier. This is my therapy. Well, my therapy when I'm not playing guitar. But making guitar videos lately has been just an utter disaster. I have OBS Studio and it's just like... I try to record on Linux. It screws up the frame rate on my camera. I try to record on Mac. It screws up the frame rate on my car camera. Hell, I even try to record using Windows and it screws everything up. I'm about this close to building another computer that's just a Pentium 4 just for making videos. Because for some reason, Windows XP and 32-bit and Windows 7 don't give me nearly half the problems that all these modern OS's are giving me regarding recording videos. I mean, this right here on Windows, this is the best setup for Nintendo games, but when I try to do anything else on this, then I have to deal with all the Windows 10 quirks that drive me absolutely batty. Like the repeated automatic updates. And I'm an IT guy, I can deal with all this stuff, but it's just really annoying. And I don't exactly have the time at, uh, at home to be constantly tweaking settings and changing things and modding things on these modern machines. You know, everyone everyone always tells me, oh, why do you like all the, use all this older hardware? Well, uh, because it's not nearly half as annoying as the modern stuff is. I mean, with the old stuff, I mean, you can chalk just about every single mistake up to it being new technology, but with the modern stuff, it's like, this is the latest and the greatest, and we can control everything you do, and you can't do that because we don't want you to, and... It'll be so much easier this way if you just buy our new operating system. Yeah, you won't find me running Windows 11 anytime soon. It took me a long time to warm up to XP, and I honestly have a feeling uh, 11 is going to be one of those ones like me or Vista that everybody's going to hate for like the next 20 years, and then they're going to love it 20 years later when its relevance is gone and therefore all of its problems. So this is one of the things about Microsoft Windows is, you know, the crappy versions aren't crappy anymore after about 15, 20 years because nobody's using them as a mainstream OS. There's no more malware, no more spyware, no more things targeting it. It's like an abandoned ghost town with like no money and no valuables in it. So of course, none of the jack offs and thieves are going to show up and want to do anything to it. That's why I always get so mad at these armchair infosec guys who are basically like, "You can't run, Emma. Uh, you can't run DOS. Uh, you'll have a, like a Bitcoin miner installed on your DOS machine." I have news for you. Uh, no, they could install a DPMI. Okay, I'm running a 486. The thing struggles to run one direct protected mode memory interface. Imagine it trying to run two at the same time. Do you think I wouldn't notice it when I? fire up Nesticle or the seventh guest and I notice like a um, very minor but still very noticeable performance hit yeah I would just be like okay time to flush the hard drive and redo it all and it's like done in 15 minutes <sighs> honestly honestly I would love to find some way to actually run a camera interface into a 486 and record videos with that it would be the no, wait, we've already done it. That's my Versa Video video. I'm sure there's other ways to uh, leverage that hardware. Man, this one's going fast. We're already up to 919 gold. We'll have that half plate in no time. And we have Radiant, so we'll probably be ready to go attack that cave soon. Which should make this far more exciting than the last episode was. I think the cat was the most exciting thing about the last one. This one, it's a lot more going on. We're finally able to get up and get going and get moving on. Oh, 
Oop, bad move. At least it's not like uh, Exodus Ultima, where like, I think you could like catch a cold from a certain barrier or some craziness. And there was like one that looked like um, bandsaw blades strung across the floor, which was like insta-kill. That game was brutal. There's a reason why I sold it, I just couldn't get along with it very well. Plus, if you're going to play Exodus, come on, the real way to play Ultima is on an actual computer. Granted, I don't have a Commodore 64, but it might be fun to watch me play the DOS version and compare it to the NES version. I may buy the NES version again at some point, but honestly, eh. Honestly, I'm happy with what I've got. The only two games in my collection I really want are to get are Castlevania 2 and 3 and Super Mario Bros. 2 because I sold my boxed copy for Dragon Warrior 4. Yes, kid children, today we are going to learn about the difference between assets and liabilities. The example of an asset is a copy of Super Mario Bros. 2 you bought in 2001. <laughs> an asset of uh, a... Um, an example of a liability is your dad's new minivan. It was worth 10000 less the minute he drove it off the lot. Anyway... <laughs> With my um, prob probably half intentionally creepy um, introduction to um, crazy economics, 995. We're not far away. I think the skeleton will just make us get that new armor that we need, so we can beat these up in mass. I mean, look at him. He's doing what? Like one point damage to my ten? One thousand nineteen. Eh, scorpions. Yeah, you aren't going to rock me like a hurricane. <laughs> That one couldn't take the heat, so he got the heck out of the kitchen. Another one in the wizard hat. Yeah. This seriously has got to be the most broken Let's Play series ever created. I'm not lying. Bithead 1000 doing picture picture time is probably... I don't know. I've been binging that guy's videos a bunch. Here, no, we play them all the way through at some point. And I've played several on this channel. Of course, the most notable being Bigfoot, but we're not doing that one again. At least not for a while. Not until I'm a 50-year-old man speaking in a super low baritone voice. Oh, there's this creepy net. Welcome to Let's Play Bigfoot. I remember back in 1989 when I looked at my Christmas stocking and there was a copy of Bigfoot Strikes Again in there. <laughs> and, oh, you want to talk about depreciating assets? Let's talk about all the freaking uh, liabilities I have for weapons and armor in this game. Of course, that armor was utterly useless and it wasn't doing me much. So here we go, hand X, half plate, large shield. Let's see if it's even worth visiting this guy again after this. No, nope, we've taken all the best stuff. So when we started the game, we had a club, then we got a copper sword, then we got a hand axe for armor. I, I just skipped the leather armor and went straight to a small shield. Then to a chain mail, now we have the half plate, and we already have the large shield. So my next uh, weapons purchase is probably going to be in coal for about three thousand dollars and it's going to be for um, full plate armor see now even the magicians are getting scared now They're like oh my god he's wearing a car hood from a 1979 Ford Bronco <laughs> 
We're not going to be able to land a hint on it, hit on him at all. <laughs> It's actually kind of what it sounds like when they hit your character. <laughs> Tonk! <laughs> I'm gonna go down here. I might want to go up another level before we go in there. Nah, you know... Nah, maybe we do. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna start quoting other YouTubers now, because I have, like, no original content, I guess. No, I do. Y'all know I do. Come on, I wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't doing this the way I wanted a, 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 a Let's Player do his channel. Yeah, too many of these guys who go through this, and there needs to be more options than just H.C. Bailey for all these. His playthroughs are awesome. But I wanted to do one in my own style, so then, you know, in 20, 30 years, someone's perusing YouTube after I've completely given up on this for whatever reason, and they can listen to the guy who's going to be like, and those skeletons, they will kill you if you don't let them get at it. Actually, you know what, instead of messing around over here, let's go to coal and see what's going on. And I'm assuming I uh, call it the right thing. Yeah, this is about the point where your uh, encounter rate goes down in all the old zones. I mean, we're maxed out in weapons and armor for this first region, so we're gonna go to the other region over here. Uh, I'm going to try to refrain from the toothpaste jokes about slimes. That is until we run across a slime that's red, turquoise, and white, and then I'm going to be like, oh, hello, Mr. Aquafresh. <laughs> of course, I haven't made one yet. cat looks like a slime. He's like staring and smiling straight at me like what? <laughs> He's probably looking at me like, what is this lunatic doing talking to himself playing video games? <laughs> I can imagine you're feeling something similar. There we go. Oh, seriously? Is that all you've got? My rule of thumb is I don't go to the southern island until I've got at least three hits up on most of these bad guys. Let's go in here. Sometimes this music makes me think of Christmas for some reason, which is... Christmas 1986, which is weird because this game didn't come out until 1989 in America. There we go. Yeah, that's the only thing we got to grab in this region, full plate, so it's going to be a while of uh, scrounging around, going up levels, and doing whatever. I just figured we'd change up the scenery a bit, maybe roam around. Oh yeah, and uh, by the way, don't roam around the super far edges of this island because... On that far side there to the east, you will start to attract star wyverns and some other horrific enemies that will, like, murder you. So, I have to wonder what joker in programming did that with the regions, or if it was just a basic uh, mathematical error when they were programming. I don't know. Or that one lucky one-hit kill. 302. Like I said, we keep hitting all these, like, pivotal numbers in my gold counter. Now it's 302, like the 302 Mustang engine. It, the... Oh, 
And you can see I'm getting like completely blase about hit points. I like just don't care anymore. I'm just like wherever we're at, we have enough to heal up and just beat this stuff up. This is usually the part of the game where most players are usually not even sure what the heck to do. They're just like, okay, I don't have any keys, I can't go anywhere further. If I go way for, far too far down south, I'm going to get murdered. If I go way too far up north, <laughs> the enemies get easier. <laughs> have no magic keys, and one piece of armor left to get in this area. And I'm not spending three hours trying to get us a $3,000 mega suit. Alright, let's see here. We got 329, we might make it to a thousand during this playthrough, but I don't know. Probably gonna shoot some other video game stuff in between rounds of laundry after this hour run. Trying to get us just a little ahead. I may cut out that section on the last one, I don't know. Let's go in circles. This will be about the time we do turning circles by uh, Judas Priest. Thirty-two, twelve, three sixty-eight, fifteen seventy-three. I have a feeling the encounter rate's gotten slower since the last time. Like, the Nintendo was being super generous earlier, now it's like, you're working me too hard, now I'm tired. I'm gonna play Atari until my wrists hurt. <laughs> That's a, a good challenge for any night. Tonight, tonight is going to be probably my um, game video night. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm continuing rambling on about my YouTube activities. Another reason I don't do a lot of guitar videos anymore is because of the basic fact I can't do covers, and that was really what made me popular. I really hate to say it, but I was really kind of riding on the shoulders of giants with that for a little while. And nowadays it's just the policies are so restrictive, I'm like literally afraid of getting shut down because I roam in here. Um, one of my videos, the Kenny Loggins I'm Free Heaven Helps the Man video where I'm playing a Fender Jaguar, freaking, uh, that thing was actually not viewable in the USA by anyone but me for about, I don't know, 10-15 years. because ASCAP wanted to um, cap my ass from apparently stealing revenue by doing a cover of a song with grainy potato cam footage that had like my entirely original-ish kind of guitar part on it, though I did pull some parts from Dan Huff. I had others that stayed up the whole time. It's just, I don't know. I don't even know what the state of guitar is anymore. I'm not really too concerned with uh, other people much anymore. I just sort of do what I feel like doing, and that's what I do. Hey, come on! I gotta, I, I gotta break up the monotony of all this grinding that I'm doing. Now let's beat this skeleton up. Pray to God I don't end up fighting a wyvern when I'm in the cave. I might try and get us up a level. I think it's like 1800 is the next uh, level up. 1800 or 2000, I can't remember. Hurry, it's 622. 
470, 484. Yeah. We're almost, we're getting there. And yeah, we're gonna keep my keep my cheapskate methods here. I've decided. It just it just makes more sense that way. Every little tiny cent counts. Oh, seriously. <laughs> One thing that does annoy me a little bit about the first Dragon Warrior, particularly on the NES, is the basic fact that your um, uh, status meter turns red when you yeah, a lot higher number of hit points as you go up a level. I'm guessing that's to compensate for the heavier enemies you're supposed to be fighting at the time. But I always try to stay a little bit behind the curve. I can't remember how much last time I had like hit those guys two or three times. Now I'm hitting them once. Shoot. We can take the shortcut this time. We've got enough hit points for it. Yeah, and this is when it, when it starts getting annoying slash hilarious because you have every single minor enemy that you started off beating up now runs from you. Reminds me of the old Bobby Collins joke. You know those guys, you know, they're like mu muscle builders and they can't move around. Oh, oh. That's probably how most of these enemies are looking. Erdrick's <laughs> descendant. Go look that one up. I don't want to go too much deeper into it. Arr, arr. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So they could automatically trigger the. Um, I'm not even sure why they have had a stairs command, really. Alright, let's heal up. And see what our max hits are. I think we're somewhere near 200 points to the next level. Let's talk to the Mr. King here. Uh, 352, so we have a little more to go. So we're getting up there. I usually don't attempt to go to the Southern Island until level 15. Thirty-six. I might have enough to actually go hit up that cave. We'll just see how it goes. just go to the cave and play it dangerous. We don't have that much gold to lose. I mean, about like one quarter of it, maybe. So, I'm going to go head on down to the cave and we're going to do something a little more exciting for the first time in this game. And hopefully not get killed. Alright. If we do, no biggie. We've gained experience points and that all that, that's all that matters. Unfortunately, unlike Ultima, there isn't a, uh, or some of the later games. No, wait, there is an outside spell, but it's, like, later on. But I'm gonna go in here now. I actually did start... And we're going to make multiple expeditions into this cave, I have a feeling, because I like to thoroughly explore my caves in uh, Dragon Warrior. Do you see how much better this is? Pretty 
creepy music. Dun da 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 da. <laughs> He's gone. Ooh. Ooh, chest. And I stupidly clicked stairs. I have found a medical herb. That actually isn't too bad. Okay, so I know I definitely want to go over here and take these. We're milking this torch for everything. And we found a skeleton. This is actually like the first cave that you actually go into where you have to fight bad guys. Bell, sleep. This is how you deal with warlocks. You put them to sleep and then you beat the crap out of them. These are actually some that are on the southeastern island or warlocks. And then you beat the other Lovintar out of them. Ooh, another one. We're not wasting another sleep spell on this bastard. Oh, a droll. David Droll. <laughs> what? What kind of agility does this stupid monster have? Gotta go all the way down to the bottom. Another one. Yeah, I'd say we hit this up at about the right time. Poltergeist. Oh god. This jerk. By the way, this is like one of the. Uh, man. Yeah, you know, we might be able to go down to the southernmost island and go grind there. I'll take this. 17 gold. I'm gonna go down here. Now we have about as much lighting as a torch. And another skeleton. I'm gonna have to make multiple expeditions to this cave. Ugh, dumb me. Just made that same mistake twice. Anyway, we're gonna go over here and take this. There we go. So we're getting around. Ooh. Um, sleep. What I like about this one is you can cancel a command. Oh man, we're like two hit getting them now. I want 
to beat up a few more advanced enemies. We might actually come out of this pretty good. Oh yeah, and there's actually a um, stats buff here that I got. Item, Fighter's Ring. Yeah, a little more power now. Oh, seriously. We might go in here again to prep, prep some more for the Southern Island. This is doing pretty well with the uh, insane encounter rate and the large sums of gold I keep obtaining. Ah, here we go. point where I could probably roam through here and find some more chests and stuff to get into. I mean, these guys are practically almost one-hit kills now. I mean, we're already a thousand gold. How far are we even in into this one? We're in about 36 minutes. Oh, a druin. We haven't seen those yet. <laughs> and he's way under-equipped to meth tango with my character. Let's pick up a skeleton. I'm sure I'm missing the chest with the cursed belt in it. There's actually a uh, treasure in this game called the Cursed Belt, and it actually tells you that's cursed. I wonder how many players were stupid enough to put that thing on back in the day. Anyway, we're going to kind of go back up here. Until my uh, Radiant spell wears out. Be up another magician. There we go. And I'd say we had a successful expedition down in that cave. Eh. You again. Well. But the only thing challenging here left are these guys. And they don't even put up much of a fight. probably be rolling in 3,000 gold in no time then. I mean, we're only 30 minutes in and I've already got a fair share of gold here. And if it keeps going like this, I'm going to be rolling in dough by the end of this game. Or by the end of this run. See, and that kind of shows you how to do it anyway with the caves. Anyway, we're going to kind of roam on over here and uh, heal up and save our game, see how many uh, point, see how many experience points we need, since I'm pretty sure we're going to need to be over 2,000 before we hit level 10. Skate our way through this again. I 
mean, seriously, what does this wizard give you to give you the magic points? Caffeine or something? Is that what the heal spell is? Draco Lord. Draco Lord, a left guardian coffee. The greatest coffee in the world. Hand picked by Tentagel. <laughs> Cue the acoustic guitar. And someone using the word aroma way too much. <laughs> sloppy with my controller work. So 108 points. Yes, we want to continue. Let's see what items we have. I think we can just sell that torch. I have the Radiant spell now. It's not like I really need it. I never use torches in this game, or I rarely do. I maybe use one in that very first cave. It was in the very first video, but I don't use them at all after I get Radiant. I just use Radiant for everything. And I think that might have been intentional by Yuji Hori and the others. They're still in the doghouse. where thou can. There are certain people you do not want to say that to. Within the site of Tantial Castle to the south is Sharlock. <laughs> Fortress of the... yeah. Castle Sharlock. What, Castle Sherlock Holmes? That would be... that would be hilarious. Every cent counts. There you go. Anyway. And yes, I probably have the strangest, most unfunny sense of humor. I don't care. <laughs> They're all telling me all the basic stuff I should have talked about earlier, right? That guy's like hiding in the corner, like he's going to get, um, uh, he's gonna get lynched for telling people. No, I want to speak to the keeper across a wall for I am Mitch Hedberg. Now, where's a chair lunch dinner? Watch that po poisonous. Uh, you remember what I said about wanting to put a 4x4 four four in the poisonous march? Marsh. Uh, let's go. Let's go drop. Um, let's say a, let's say a pick mirag type team of four by fours. You'd want a full coverage one in there so you don't just perish your party all in one. So maybe you pick something like an S10, Jeep Renegade, Bronco two with the back installed. Oh, King Lork, that the search for his daughter hath failed. <laughs> losers. Anyway. Actually, I hate that term, losers. Who am I turning into? We're gonna go ahead and go to the southern island, because Remilder will maybe give us a challenge now. Cause this, this is just like a walk in the park now. You just have to make it all the way there and not get killed. There's a certain way to do this where you can encounter the fewest hit points. I think it was something like this. Yeah. Alright. 
We are going to run after this. All the way to Remolder. Because I'm pretty sure you're going to get bored of me just watching me um, grind. Uh, die. Tired of these wand toting perverts and the in robes. I mean, seriously. Anybody else? 1201. You know what's funny is I don't even really need the radiance spell for this. I can actually go through this whole cave blind, believe it or not. You probably even saw me do it in the last run before I lost my save game, but eh. Hi again. Hi again. It dodged my excellent move, then it's not an excellent move. Die, you one eyed, flying, two horned, purple, buzzy beetle thing. Yeah. Well, I didn't get out of there relatively unscathed. probably gonna die now. Two can play at this sleep game. Die, you pervert Jawa. and watch as I get just completely maimed by a werewolf running to a molder. This is where I'm going to re-show how I basically power grind. We made it. You have no tomatoes today. Since when in this game did I ever need tomatoes? What was I going to do? Throw them at, the, throw them at myself? You know, we will find them. Well, the monsters are terrible and fierce around here. Now it's hinting at the sword. Before long, the enemy will arrive. What, like a pizza? This is a magic place. Hast thou, hast found, hast thou found a magic temple? I don't know why, but this guy's voice in my head sounds like a certain um, uh, member of a certain type of clergy-ish thing years ago. This is a magic place. Hast thou found the magic temple? No. Go to the south. <laughs> or again, this is a magic place. Hast thou found the magic temple? In this temple do the sun and the rain meet? Now let's stick that on a random cassette tape and tape a bunch of band demos over it and laugh at how bizarre it sounds out of context. <laughs> Alright, skills of the Dragon Lord are as hard as steel. Eh, nothing the blowtorch couldn't fix. Who art thou? Leave it once or I will call my friends. What, are they really the dream police? <laughs> What is it with all these people about proof? Come on. I feel like you guys are treating me like Barack Obama asking for my birth certificate, you bastards. Anyway, over the western part of this island, Erder created a rainbow. He created a rainbow! To use magic to kill dragons! <laughs> Why Dio never made an awesome metal song about this game? It would have been awesome. Tiz also said that he entered the darkness from a hidden entrance in the room of the Dragon Lord. Eh. 
could do a complete spoiler joke there, but I won't. Thou shalt find stones of sunlight and... Oh, yeah, okay, I've already talked to you. Maybe you guys should stop moving around so much. Oh, that's Tomato Lady. Who is this guy? When was the last time we met? You know, I think an origin stories for the first Dragon Quest game is totally due. Square Enix, get on that. Is Oh, you're referring to my um, fighter's ring. Yeah, that is my wedding ring. Touch my wife and I will uh, use it <laughs> to its fullest capacity. <sighs> now let's talk to the weapons shop. Copper sword. What a pathetic weapon. Seriously, uh, what else do you have back there? Um, a Harmony H804? Hand axe? Prod sword? This is arguing with your cat 101. We have full plate here and magic armor. Sometimes I forego the full plate and just go full on magic. Magic! <laughs> yeah, that joke's getting a little dull now. As if it ever was sharp. Anyway. Moving on. I am Orwick and I'm waiting for my girlfriend. Oh, so you're named after that vacuum cleaner from the 80s that like nobody owned but was like constantly uh, advertised in the back of magazines? On the, you piddled on the bed. <laughs> Borwick is late again and I'm starving. Well, why are you hiding over here in the back corner of town? I mean, seriously. Your boyfriend's all the way over there across this tiny freaking town. You could just wander over there. Look. Look at how short this is. This is nothing. You said it, Ricky. I talk to my cat. Deal with it. Magic keys. You unlock any every door. Uh, any door. Mm. I shall. Hmm. How long are we running on this video now? Uh, we get about seven minutes left. And then it'll be time to go check the laundry. I think since we've made it here, we're gonna grind a little bit. Or even better yet, we're gonna go here. And we're gonna spend the most stupid amount of money in in I've ever spent in my life. 55. Gotta get healed up, you know? So we're gonna be beating up some nasty stuff trying to get back when the encounter rate decides to go completely blotto. Or when we end up in the castle being told our mission half failed. Um, lullaby and good night. I shall beat you, you penis in a cloak. Go away. Oh. No fair. This game is like raping me of all my money. Okay, you bastard. Suck hand axe, you dick. my money, you fucking 
asshole. Oh no. You are not, I'm not going through that again. Take that, and that. Time to perform some warlock surgery. And I don't mean a BC Rich. Alright, let's waste some more magic points. So we head back to Tangil Castle and decide whether we want to. 15. Why do I have a feeling we're somehow going to make it all the way over there and maybe hit a level up? We're not that far away. Okay, enough of that. That cat is my co-pilot. Heal. same amount of hit points as last time. Let's go talk to the king and see if we need to grind just a little bit more in this video. So we have at least one more level. I make it a goal every time I do one of these to just basically make sure that we go up one more level and um, gain one more piece of armor. At least, or weapon, or something. I mean, this time was probably not such a bad time out. We visited a cave. We went to a new town we never went to before. Hey. Can't be all bad, can it? Oh uh, no. Anyway, we're gonna just, at this point, I think we're gonna just focus on leveling up. It just makes the most sense. And we're gonna cheapen out a little bit real quick here. And we're actually got more gold than we uh, left with, so that's than we left the other place with. So we'll come on. Yeah. Oh, wow. My cat's talking to me again. He found a hair tie. That's his primary job, is finding me hair ties. Which right now I don't even need, because I have shorter hair than I had a few couple months ago. Anyway, let's go talk to this guy. Thirteen points, okay. We're gonna go fight it out for one more round in this uh, part. And then once we go up a level, since 13 experience points, we can go beat stuff up for a little bit. I say we pay six gold to sleep somewhere proper, finally, and then I'm sure someone's probably screaming over there, Why didn't you buy a key? Why didn't I buy a key? Here's why I didn't buy a key. I didn't buy a key because I'm actually trying to save up more for heavier armor first. My goal is to make this another god tier save game like the one I lost when uh, I lost all my save game data. Seriously. It is Encounter 8 City. We will be next level in like no time now. A new level of confidence and power. Where's Phil Anselmo when you need him? Anyway. 
Oh, you like Pantera too. <laughs> Honestly, I would prefer for Dime to just play a Wicked solo during that. Ooh, new spell. What spell did we get? Stop spell. That's going to be useful against those jackasses in the southeast. <sighs> Seriously? Yeah, and then you start a new level, and then these enemies like try to make it seem like it's far worse. I've almost got enough for a broadsword, but I just don't see the point in it at this point. I'd rather have the uh, better armor and not be able to take hits and then constantly laugh while they're making misses. And yeah, we're gonna get a leg up on that. 2013! 2014! 2014, when the world began to suck. Or when Five Nights at Freddy's came out. 2015! Oh, land my, uh, land my uh, stats counter on 2022, then it's the year. A cow! A cow! Oh yeah, we forgot. Before we go... Well, just take the cheap skate way out because I completely spaced and forgot to go to Breckenary. Every time I hear that name now, I think of that uh, horrid commercial with the uh, old timey guy singing It's a Long Road to Tipperary, if I haven't mentioned that yet. Uh, heal. So it would be an awesome marching band outfit. Like, every sprite from this game. Yeah, these could be the, uh, color guard. Um, Princess Gwaylene for the majorettes. This guy for the section leader of the trumpet section, you know. Anyway. Let's go ahead and talk to Mr. King Guy here. 885. You guys are killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Anyway. I think this is where we wrap it up for Let's Play Dragon Warrior, at least in this set of recording sessions, although you, you'll be seeing this like two Sundays after it was recorded. So anyway, time to do the proper shutdown sequence for Dragon Warrior, where you press reset and turn off the power. The reason why you have to do this with Dragon Warrior is because basically the processor doesn't reset itself and it can write errant code over your save game, which is probably what happened for me repeatedly turning the system on and off while I was testing this, because I was just too lazy to pull out something without a save, like Super Mario Brothers. And this is Creeping Net signing out. I'll see you in the next YouTube video. Yeah.